If you have watched any of my videos, you probably know that I am currently on a quest to hike all the trails in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and become a member of the 900 Miler Club. On this adventure, I headed to the cluster of trails just east of the Sugarlands Visitor Center to tackle some of the last unhiked trails on the eastern side of the 441. I started out from the old Sugarlands Trailhead heading southeast and then east for 3.5 miles to the intersection with the Bullhead Trail. Doubling back 0.2 miles and turning northwest onto the eastern 2 mile lead trail for 1.6 miles before turning northeast on Grassy Branch for 0.3 miles then going out and back on the 0.3 mile southeast spur before doing the counterclockwise 1.7 miles of the Painter Ridge, turning southeast on the 2 mile lead trail for 0.4 miles, then 1.1 miles east on Grassy Branch, followed by 0.7 miles northwest on the Old Sugar Lens Trail to reach my car. This is Greybeard for the Sylvan Reflections channel. Time to get started. I hadn't originally planned to come at this particular point in time. However, I was saddened to learn at the end of last week that someone that I deeply admire, he was my high school academy uh, biology and chemistry teacher, passed away unexpectedly. And I wanted to come over and pay my respects. The service will be tomorrow. This gentleman was a true Christian gentleman, but he was also an enthusiastic, enthusiastic uh, biologist as well. He loved the great outdoors. Other than my parents, one of the most influential early on in my life, especially, and getting me interested in biology. And I believe, and played a part in my ultimate choice to become a biology professor so I can't think of a more fitting tribute oh these are some of my favorite it's a little out of focus, but that's the long spur violet, and it is beautiful. Okay, some more beautiful flowers. Uh, daisy, fleabane, one of the flea banes, I think. As you saw from the map at the beginning, this trail is going to parallel the 441 that cuts across the middle of the Smokies. I mean, I can see it all of maybe 70, 100 yards from where I'm at through the trees. But that'll only last for another about mile before we start veering away to the east. Oh, interesting. Look at what we have here. This seems to be the theme of 2024 or at least my 2024 hiking in the Smokies is blowdowns we'll call it the year of the blowdowns and there were quite a few this so far this season even this little trail so close to the main road is not immune Oh boy, what would be complete? Oh, 
look at the look at the halbert like uh, leaf there but what would be complete without a harbinger of spring you can see the little fiddleheads there looks like it is for some Christmas ferns mm, pretty pretty well our first sign here old Triglin's trail gonna gonna be coming up here we are evidently for grassy branch we're gonna be heading on up here and staying to the east and having a little fun so it looks like we're gonna switch off on the old Sugarlands Trail Ah, oh, can't forget these guys. And they are all over in this area. You can see even more over here. Oh, you can just see the May apples getting started here. Just beginning. A whole bunch of them here. Oh, that's gonna be pretty in a few months. Or a month or so. Oh, pretty little flower. This looks like the star chickweed. Unfortunately, I was just a little too lazy to sit down and get a really sharp photo. There's our friend the dog hobble. And look at this. You can see it is getting ready to bloom before too long here. Oh, how cool. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. Aha, uh -huh, our next one. Yeah, we're going to continue on old sugar lens that'll parallel the creek for a little while longer. Tell you what, these landmarks come pretty fast. That is different trail signs when you're on the old Sugarlands. We have another one right up here. Yeah, we need to keep going. But looks like this is part of the horse trail. That's cool. Little stonework here. Ah, the first of the season that I've seen, anyway. The dwarf crested iris. So pretty. Here's the intersection I was trying to find. All right. So we're gonna go 0.3 to the right here on up to the Bullhead Trail. Pretty nice new sign, okay. And then come back down and we get to this point. Instead of continuing down the trail we came up on, we're gonna go over here on the two mile lead trail till we hit the 441 again. So time to keep going. That 0.3 miles up and then we'll come right on back. Tell you what, 
lots of little trails coming off of this old Triglins trail. Here's another one. Don't think we are yet to the bullhead, are we? Yep. How about that? How about that? There we are. That's the one that goes up Bullhead Trail, the way I went in my last video. Click the Feature Length Videos tab on the Sylvan Reflections channel, and you will see the Mount LeConte Bullhead Trillium Gap hike. On that one, I hiked the eastern end of Old Sugarland's Trail from the Rainbow Falls Trailhead to the Bullhead Trailhead. So now I'm continuing on from that point. I've actually connected to that point. And I'm going to come back down the Two Mile Lead Trail. And then come all the way back to 441. I'll complete that outer circuit. Just met some really beautiful people. A oh, little butterfly. Some really nice people that come down here from Michigan every year to explore new trails. It's nice to meet others who enjoy it as much as I do. Okay, I mentioned that when I got on the two mile lead trail that it was going to be probably full of blowdowns, and sure enough, it's just one constant series of small little blowdown stuff. This is nothing like, not even remotely like the Baskins Creek Trail from a couple months ago, but it does take a little bit away from your momentum. Ouch, there we go. Just have to fight your way through. Okay, we have reached the intersection. At this point, I think I'm going to go left and curl back around. But first, I'm going to stop and drink some water. Back around. Okay, we're going to go complete that and come back. Okay. We turned off on Grassy Branch and came up that little that little loop. We've come all the way up the loop and we are now hitting off to the right. That will connect us to the trail that we were just on. Wasn't that pretty? Kind of looks like we're looking up at LeConte maybe or... I don't know. Okay, there's the intersection we just came past. Now we're going to go back up. Looks like we have a butterfly congregation spot going on here. Upon my return, I went counterclockwise on the Painter Ridge Trail. Keep going. Okay, finally, finally, on this big painter trail go around, we have reached the end of it. I think we're back to the two mile lead. So you can see here, it's hard to read, but it says Painter Ridge Trail. This one, two mile lead trail, which we will follow south. And now I am back up to where I was before. I'm going to head uh, this way to the car, get some water and some snacks there. Then I will do another trail if I have time. Well, we just got passed by about... Uh, well, a horse guide and about four or five people with him. 
At this point, I'd like to mention that it is always my practice that any time I encounter horses while hiking, that I step well off the trail and comport myself in such a way as not to interfere or distract the horses in any way. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like uh, one of them lost something. I know it's backlit, you can hardly see. There we go. That's the two mile lead trail. That's the western one, closer to the stream. That heads up this direction. After a little thought, I realized there wasn't time for this trail, so I continued on the grassy branch towards the old Sugarlands Trail. Looking at the leaves along with the flower, I'd say that's golden ragwort. Okay, down there is a black bear. I don't know if you can see him. But he's right down there to the left, or she, because I heard there's a mama bear and some cubs. Hey there. So I heard the brush going there, so I know there was somebody there. Got my bear spray, so I should be set. She knows I'm here, talking loud enough, and she saw me before I saw her anyway. Since the bear was obviously keeping its distance, I walked slowly away, keeping an eye on its last location. You can see all the flowers here. I'm sorry, there you go. And here we have some delightful examples of the Carolina Vetch. Yes, another landmark. We are just about where I was this morning before we started seeing all the trails split off. We are still on the grassy branch. And you can see it was up here that I turned right to stay along the creek this morning. Yeah, and that was that's the turn off the old Sugarlands. Uh, so, we are now back on the old Triggerlands for the rest of the way that parallels the stream, the big creek, right on up for about another 0.7 miles to the car and some water. Probably a good time to tell you about my boots. As you may recall, I was doing a hike and the soles of my boot started coming loose from the rest of the boot. It was like a giant flip-flop. I finally got some of that shoe glue glue or something, whatever it is, and tried to repair it. And that's what I've been wearing today. These are the same boots that you see in the logo. So nice to get some additional use out of them. A little nostalgic. Well, we're back to the road. Well, we've come to the end of another wonderful adventure in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Thank you for letting me share this adventure with you. See you on the next one. If you like this video, please consider clicking the like, subscribe, and notification bell.